All right. Wait, are we? Okay. Hi. Uh, welcome back to this nonsense. <laughs> We're gonna be redesigning another Sonic character. The Undertale music is just blaring in my ear, but that's fine. All right. Uh, let's start just on the head. This time I didn't start without recording. So, I guess that's a, uh, that's a plus there. <laughs> and I'm also, uh, not under the influence of anything this time, so... Woo! <laughs> okay, hang on. I have to remember how to do bodies correctly. At least how I used to. Yeah, this is how I did the male bodies. It was all just, like, one shape. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, while I'm thinking about it, I might as well go into some detail about who I'm drawing today. So again, I'm just picking them out of my like obscure ones, the ones that didn't really stay very long, as it were. I might, I might do some of my more uh, prevalent characters, characters that matter than the ones that I drew the most, uh, when Sonic was my thing. It's just, right now I want to, like, test it out. See if people like it. And, uh, some people like the last one, so, uh, doing another one. I cannot draw arms tonight. Jesus. <laughs> I'm arms. <laughs> I don't even remember what he says. Does so anyone know what I'm talking about? That one in Sonic video where you use arms? The deformed fox enchilada, or yeah, nipples the enchilada. God, YouTube it was weird. Still is. Still, still is. Especially since, you know, there's people like me here. Huh. I completely got off topic, didn't I? Uh, okay. So, <laughs> back on subject. This is Gear the Skunk. He was a character that, again, like uh, Lizzie the Panda, did not stay around for very long. But for different reasons this time, uh, let me explain a little something. Ariana the Cat was my main character, right? She was who I used to represent myself as emo sonic cat which honestly really wasn't that far from the truth i was very lonely at one point in time and i was just dreaming and hoping for like there to be secretly boys wanting me which that wasn't a thing uh is now was not at the time um <laughs> so gear was created in a way though to give Ariana more love interests. Basically in a way for me to, you know, feel a little bit better about myself. It's interesting looking back on it and thinking about how I was thinking at the time. Long and short of it, Gear was just created to give Ariana another love interest, but aside from that, he really had nothing going for him. He didn't have any kind of... Like, he had, like, snarky personality, and he was good with machines and stuff. So he was like a Sonic Tails combo. And outside of that, there was virtually nothing and uh, he kind of got just forgotten to the sands of time instead of being properly killed off like Lizzie was, honestly. Uh, yes. This is the, uh, part of the video where I need to go grab a reference because, uh, forget what these characters look like outside of what I can vaguely remember. There we go, which is big and floofy. Make the canvas a little bit bigger. It's part of the video where I go and get a reference. There we go. So yeah, it was literally the only picture I ever existed. I hate my younger self. I'm gonna go back in time and do myself with a lead pipe. I swear to God. So ignoring that. So as you can see, he had the shaggy emo hair and piercings kind of thing. I made this character solely to be to look like somebody I'd be into. That sounds so weird. 
thinking, knowing that it's a Sonic character, and thinking back to my younger self and being like, what were you thinking, you gross, weird, you are weird, I don't understand, piercings, shaggy, emo-like hair, a uh, scarf, uh, <laughs> let's try make them better. Something I definitely noticed when looking back at a lot of my characters is that they were very, uh, well, a lot of them shared a similar style and fashion, if I, I just put it that way. Like, I guess I'll just flat say there were so many of them that were just straight up emo that, you know, it, it, you, you get sick of looking at the same thing all the time. Like, I guess I'm guilty of that now still, because it is still, I still do dress like that even though I don't act like how I used to. I've come a long way, I want to say. A lot of people agree with me. I, en I still enjoy the style, and you know what? I really don't have anything against anyone who wants to be a part of that culture. You know, I think I think his gloves are going to be the one thing to keep like completely the same way it was before. I might, well, I might change the color just a little bit. Debate on keeping his piercings. Like, it's weird to see Sonic characters with piercings, but then again, he wouldn't be the first one. Though most of the other examples I can think of off the top of my head are from, like, the comics and unofficial things, but still. Hmm. We'll just see what looks better, I guess. So I'm thinking between maybe giving him, uh, like, longer boots, like, shorter boots, I mean, or keeping his long boots. I think the boots work. You know, it's a shame that this is the only picture of him that I have still because I can't see the other part of his boot. <sighs> oh well, that's fine. We'll just improvise. This is a redesign anyway. There we go. We'll give him a little bit of a heel. I think I think guys should be able to wear heels and not be called gay. I mean, Heels were originally designed for men in the first place, so I don't see why not. Yes. You know, this is my friend's ringtone. This is this is my friend Jenna's ringtone. This is exactly like what I think the, the song is just constantly going on in her brain and nothing else. Like, this is just her functionality. Like, a company, like, the song with, like, a bunch of people being murdered and that that's that's what goes on in her head love you jenna sorry great there we go. we're getting somewhere you know what he's looking pretty good i just realized one glove is different from the other fuck my life just realized it looks like coda's glove fuck my life again all right we're good we're good we're good I'll add one piercing up here just to pay homage to the old gear. There we go. Now let's color him. This time it's not in that stupid art style I used to. That one point in time where I went completely like backwards. How uh, most people like make art and start out with not drawing necks and then they move to necks like with sonic related stuff i started with drawing necks and then i moved to not drawing necks and uh, it was out of choice i was trying to just get super cartoony and uh i it's how it was for a while and then i kind of started to try and learn how to draw people better and then i slowly but surely caved in and added next to all of my characters. It's funny going back through like really old Coda's World art, but like post uh, 2016 I believe. Because uh, most characters don't have necks and it just looks weird and funny and it's a good time to laugh at. <laughs> you know, I really do think that if there's anything you should take away from this series though, just, it's better to learn from your past mistakes rather than just forget about them. Because once you figured out what you did wrong and understand why it was wrong, and then you could just move on and accept that, yeah, it happened and 
You're gonna try your hardest not to let it happen again. Of course, like, that kind of mentality differs from person to person and situation to situation, but I guess maybe I should say, like, art career-wise or just being a creator-wise, you should instead, instead of burying your past mistakes, just embrace them. I mean, that's why I made fun of the reappearing, disappearing beard thing and the most recent issue of Ghost Squirrel. Was it, is it the white stripe on top? Yeah. It's be like one of my favorite things just to listen to. Actually, not gonna lie, when Undertale first came out, Naps the Blue was literally like my favorite character because I related to him so much. Lay on the floor and feel like garbage. Okay. So the black is done. <laughs> always why why are the la layers labeled black you know what I'm done asking questions you know the Temi theme always remind me of like the Rugrats like music for summer it was a really bad idea to listen to Undertale music while I do this see it's kind of coder inspired there we go it was a mistake making his tail so large and fluffy I'm gonna go with like the off color yellow this time. It looks pretty great. Might change that to orange. Nah, it's fine. I mean, honestly, this character's like concept wasn't too terrible. Just kind of a nerdy, like, love interest rival to the other characters. The problem comes in when well, you know, he literally had no personality. And uh was just there to be there. There's nothing interesting about him. Just nothing. He don't. I don't even think he made it into like. I think he made into maybe one story, and then that was it. He was never heard from again. Which, by the way, I do still have some of my old stuff. I didn't delete anything that I thought was too important. Okay. Actually, almost done with this, since most of him was like black anyway. <laughs> I think we'll keep his eyes blue. Yeah, because that works out pretty well. You know, I think if I ever did make a new, like, Sonic-related thing, probably no, like, not anytime soon, that's for sure. But if I ever did end up making anything, I would probably try to bring him back. Or maybe at least reference him and make fun of him. Oh, heh. <laughs> On layer. There we go, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. There we go, and we... Hang to wait for it. We are done. I think that's a pretty big improvement from the uh, old gear. Still don't feel like running in cursive. There we go. Like last time, if you have any terrible Sonic characters you would like to see be redesigned by yours truly, send them my way. Or if you have any recommendations of old characters of mine, then that'd be cool too. Either way, uh, gear is done. I hate my younger self. And, uh, this... Yeah, yeah, I'm just ending the video. Bye, guys. <laughs>